So now we're going to use the procedure for finding the derivative of inverse functions to find the derivative of sine inverse of x. So at the moment, we don't know the derivative of sine inverse of x. We do know the derivative of sine x is cosine x, and then we can generalize using the chain rule. Derivative of sine u is cosine u times u prime. So let's say that y equals sine inverse of x. Well, of course, what this means is that sine of y equals x. Now, let's just think about this for a second. If sine of y equals x, what that means is y is an angle, and it's sine, its opposite over hypotenuse is x. So it means that the opposite is x, and the hypotenuse is 1. All right, well, that's interesting. We'll get back to that in a minute. So now what we're going to do is implicitly differentiate this expression. So taking a derivative, what we get is cosine of y times y prime equals 1. So y prime equals 1 over cosine of y. So now we might, may ask, what is the cosine of y? Well, we have to go back to this triangle here. And of course, using the Pythagorean theorem, we see that the third side of this triangle would be 1 minus x squared, root of 1 minus x squared. So the cosine of that y is the root of 1 minus x squared, that over 1. And 1 over the cosine is 1 over 1 root of 1 minus x squared. This is the derivative of the sine inverse of x. Derivative of sine inverse of x equals 1 over 1 minus x squared.